Hey everybody, hey I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do an English review I just saw on the uh, on the shelf the other night. I've never seen it before. I'm gonna be doing uh, for Moreland the Moreland Brewery, I'm gonna be doing the old crafty hen vintage ale. a um, little bit from the bottle. It says uh, a blend of ten to fourteen percent old five X, aged up for five years in oak vats and used in strong Suffolk, I guess that's another beer from this brewery, and regular old speckled hen. I've had the old speckled hen, it's been a, been a long time, I've had it before though, and I, I remember it as a fairly decent beer. Um, so this is apparently a, a blend of a blend of an old ale and a new ale, so and it comes in at 6.5% ABV, beautiful looking in the bottle. I hope uh, I saw it on the shelf. I had never seen it before, so hopefully it's fairly fresh. And uh, despite the clear bottle, it's uh, it's not skunked or anything, or not too bad. It's fairly dark, so that might help some. Um, got a nice cap. I don't have the Moreland cap. It says uh, established 1711. So let's let's get this in the uh, in a glass. I'm gonna use my Samuel Smith Nonic. So. We'll get this in the glass and see what we have here. I want that TV tray falling. Don't want to lose this beer. Good looking beer in the bottle. Let's see what it looks like in the glass. Start down the side, pour down the middle. Still not getting much of a head. Nice, uh, Orangish, amber, more, more amber. Um, seems to be a just a light amount of carbonation streaming up. Uh, fairly, fairly clear. I can see uh, see the light through it fairly easily. Got about a finger of a. In this light, it appears to be an almost white head. Kind of foamy. Really nice. Really nice looking beer. Little carbonations. Little carbonations uh, cl clinging to the side of the glass. So. Get a nose on it and see what we have. Oh yeah, get some toasty malts. A um, little uh, maybe white grape, possibly raisin. Definitely getting some uh, like earthly, earthy, floral type hops. Vaguely woody. A um, little bit, a little bit of oak, maybe that vanilla, vanilla omer odor. Uh, smells pretty good so give it a taste and see what we have. Getting a light malt sweetness. Definitely getting a, almost a rum raisin note. Hints of those oak barrels. Maybe a little um, almost orange marmalade type flavor, maybe a little pear. Finish is just a little semi-sweet, almost tart, um, with an oak, oaky uh, bitterness right at the back of the tongue. There's a little bitterness throughout, but um, the malty su malt sweetness is uh, pretty much evening that out. Um, A little white pepper, a little toffee. Definitely get those raisins that they talk about in the description on the on the on the bottle of here. It's medium to medium full bodied, um, light carbonation makes it uh, makes it uh, feel a little bit on the mouth feel a little thicker than it is, but. This is a nice, pleasant beer. Let me uh, get the rest of this in the glass, and I'll sit and uh, let this warm up for a while, and I'll be back after a while with final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's um, oh, it's been a good half an hour or so. I'm, I'm sipping on this lightly, not because it's a heavy beer or anything. I'm just sort of enjoying it a little bit, and I was watching the. Uh, 
the Niners and the and the Steelers anyway, so I notice this has warmed up a little bit of uh, just a hint of skunkiness is coming out, but you know, that's to be expected in these uh, these clear bottles, but this is still a darn good beer. Um, I don't know, uh, Moreland I guess is owned by a company called Green King, which I, apparently is like the InBev of England, so whatever they get their, their hands on, it's not the same as it used to be or anything like that, so I'm glad I got this cap anyway, it's a very nice cap. Um, this is a decent beer, I, like I said, I had the old speckled hand before, but it's been probably three or four years. I'm going to have to, if I see one, I'll pick it up and uh, maybe I can pick up one of these and do a side-by-side -side or something, but uh, this is a decent beer. Um, it's a old ale, vintage ale, um, whatever it's called. It's not, it's not the best. It's a good drinkable beer. Um, I'd, I'd say it's almost, almost a bitter more than a, more than an old ale, uh, but still darn good beer. So I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I may pick it up again. Um, it's still on the shelf. I'm not going to let it sit on the shelf too long in the, in the local grocery store because it's under strong lights and with this clear glass it's going to it's going to skunk real quick. So um, 7.5 out of 10 for the Moreland Old Crafty Hen. If you see it, pick it up. Worth a shot. You might like it better than I do. Um, and I like it. So, till next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beer.